Welcome. The following short video is designed to ensure that all staff involved in the handling of pathology specimens collected in theatre are aware of the new electronic method sample labelling prior to the receipt by lab. It is vital to ensure that specimens are correctly identified in order to ensure 1. The risk of harm to patients is minimised, 2. Results are produced in a timely manner, and 3. Accurate diagnosis. Incorrectly labelled specimens can have potentially devastating effects for patients. By updating the process into an electronic label, key information is recorded in a legible and clearly trackable manner. This video will take you through the steps on ICE on how to correctly generate a pathology label. It is the responsibility for all staff involved in specimen collection to ensure that specimens are handled correctly. This includes clinicians, ODPs and nursing staff as we are all one MBT. Patients should be identified ideally by asking them to state their name and date of birth. This should match their wristband and consent form. This is usually done automatically as part of the WHO checklist at the start of theatre. Then, using an MRN or one of the other identifiers, search for the patient in the ICE. Within the patient's ICE domain, click Requesting. Find the Cell Pathology tab located on the far right. Tick the box and continue with the request. The first box is the number of specimens and their name. Please make sure that the labelled specimen 1, 2, etc. is the same as the collected specimens. The second box will ask you to state the total number of specimens up to a maximum of 50. Then, the clinical detail. Please include any relevant clinical detail and biochemical tests such as PSA in cases of prostate, for example. After this, you'll be asked whether the patient is on a cancer pathway or not. If appropriate, click yes and include the MDT date as this gives the lab a target for when the specimens need to be ready. The final screen confirms the patient's consultant on whose behalf the pathology is being requested. The requester's details are automatic as you are logged into ICE and you can add your contact details. The clinical details box will appear on ICE on recent requests. These can be a duplicate of the one sent to the lab, i.e. you can just copy and paste. Once the request has been accepted, the labels will be printed. Once the label has been printed, simply affix it to the specimen so it can be sent to the lab. We hope this has clarified the process for electronic requesting in our trust. Thank you for listening.